Okay, I have another art book for you. This is Edgar Payne, The Scenic Journey. And this was a book that really surprised me. So I have um, the book on compositions by Edgar Payne, which is a very well-known um, book in the art world and has been used for decades for studying composition. And so I knew that I liked his work and respected him as an artist, but I initially didn't buy this book because I was afraid it was all work like this, which even though obviously this is a fantastic painting, I'm not particularly drawn to this um, kind of landscape. So I wasn't gonna buy it initially, but I finally broke down. I bought this book used and see, I've even got the stickers on the back saying, thanks to you, this product has a second life. So I buy a lot of my books used. I buy a lot of them from library sales and that sort of thing. You can get a better deal, but also it just gets more used books on people's bookshelves. So anyway, so you can see that I loved the book because I marked a bunch of pages. I loved looking at the brushwork and... I loved looking at his style of clouds. This is one that I marked just to do a cloud study on this. That is right up my alley. I love painting skies. I also loved his sketches. That's one of my favorite things when I can find an art book that also shows the artist's sketches because it really deconstructs their work and shows how they how they see and and that's so much of art is how do you see the world and seeing how artists you admire see the world through their sketches and their sketchbooks um, it can tell you so much it can teach you a lot uh, so i did mark some of the sketches love the colors in this one also the sky and this is my favorite page I cannot wait to do a study of this painting. I think it is beautiful. Greens and blues are my my very favorite and I love the brushwork. I loved how he really simplified the scene, but yet you can tell exactly what it is. And I also love this sketch here too. But this is, as you can see, it is a gorgeous book. I marked this page because I loved this little section the color of the sky, and I loved these clouds. This is another page I marked. Again, I really loved the clouds up here, the mountains, the brushwork. Lots of gorgeous landscapes. And there are, there's this whole section on um, Edgar Payne's European travels. So if you really like um, sort of the more, you know, you like the French Impressionists and English Impressionist work and stuff. This is, this will show you scenes that look much more familiar since they're painted in Europe. So I marked some of these. I love how the sails look sunlit in this, this painting. So this is another one I'd like to study as well as the sketch. I find all of the prints to be just absolutely beautiful. It's a big hefty book and if you love impressionist work this is a just a wonderful book to study. This is another page I had marked because I would like to study these skies. Aren't they wonderful? I learn so much from studying artists that I admire which is why I have a ton of these books so I can really spend time and do studies of them. So there you go. This is the book, Composition of Outdoor Painting, that is, like I said, it's kind of a must have on, especially if you do landscape paintings. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful book with all sorts of little thumbnails for composition and, and that sort of thing. There's also a lot um, just about Edgar Payne in general. And of course there's a timeline of his work, his travels, all of that stuff. I love it when I get to see artists' art supplies as well, but it is a fantastic book. It's also just a beautiful coffee table, table book. So if you're into just having art books just to kind of sit out, whether you're an artist or not, but you just enjoy looking at them, this is a great one to have. Edgar Payne, The Scenic Journey.